Okay guys, so uh, today in this video uh, we're going to talk about the uh, Climb uh, Cryos helmet and the uh, 10U uh, Cena headset Bluetooth system for the uh, Climb Cryos helmet. So uh, let's take a look at this. Haven't really taken it out of the box yet, but uh, it has a, um, it's got a handlebar remote. Uh, it's got the speakers. Uh, the control system that will mount on just outside the helmet and it has an antenna system for um, you know picking up radio stations things of that nature you can sync this with your iPhone and other Bluetooth devices so it's pretty cool uh, of course you can sync up other helmets that may have a Bluetooth or a Cena system so uh, we're gonna get this installed inside the climb uh, cryos helmet this kit is uh, specifically made for the climb a helmet so we're gonna get started so this is kind of what comes in the uh, climb uh, 10u cryos helmet uh, kit from Cena uh, it's got a couple little um, velcro pieces little rubber adhesive piece some little elastic rubber straps here of some kind some more little velcro pieces uh, this is the Cena uh, microphone most of y'all if you have uh, worked with Cena's uh, you probably have this in your helmet already uh, charge cable um, of course, uh, some communication systems, instructions, things of that nature. And then, of course, we already saw the uh, uh, packaging of the uh, Cena system. So we're going to get this installed and uh, stick around. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do is I've kind of started a little bit, but uh, what you want to do is you want to take the uh, climb helmet and just flip it upside down. Uh, the cheek pads are Velcroed. Okay, so you just want to kind of peel them back on each side okay this back piece here um, velcro but also has plastic little snaps here that are pretty common in just about every helmet so you snap them loose go ahead and lay this down in the uh, bottom of the helmet kind of tuck it out of the way so what you have here is you got your cheek pads loose you just kind of fold them a little bit out of the way uh, you got the rear uh, portion of the helmet padding unsnapped and velcro just let it fall and just push it down in the bottom of the helmet out of your way kind of let the uh, straps just lay down in there and this will be the start of installing the uh, Bluetooth communication system. okay now that we got the cheek pads laid out we got this rear pad uh, tucked loose and just laying down in the bottom of the helmet here uh, what we want to do is um, we want to install the first thing we want to do is install the antenna for the uh, Cena headset system, okay? So I'm going to try to pick this up. You can see it's kind of cumbersome with all the stuff hanging off of it, but this is the guy that we want to install first. This is the uh, antenna system, okay? Uh, the instructions, um, just some black and white pictures. I've done a couple of dry runs just kind of playing around with it to figure out where it needs to go. Uh, we know that this piece sits right here so the antenna piece needs to insert somewhere closely to that location so the best spot I found is right here you see this plastic uh, button right here for this cheek or this lower uh, rear pad right behind it right behind this pad and just beside that uh, snap is where you're going to insert this at okay it fits just like that then you're just going to want to gently take your thumb It'll slide right in there and you can slide it in there nice and flush just like that okay now this piece here will sit like this right here okay so that's how you install the antenna portion of it okay uh, that's one of the first things that you need to do first before you do anything else okay now that you got the antenna inserted uh, just a couple of notes um, the little speakers, they already got Velcro on the back of them, uh, so they can kind of, they start sticking everywhere to the sides of the helmet here, and just kind of makes it a little cumbersome, but you just got to be patient. But they already got Velcro on the little speakers. Here is the uh, microphone uh, port. So what you want to do now, now that we got the antenna installed, uh, we're just going to lay this electronic system here. This is going to be the, uh, pretty much your, um, you know the battery system you know you got a charge port right here so we're just gonna lay that up these little pieces here are adjustable but you can see they fit 
Um, you know, this, this oval shaped here is designed uh, so when this rear pad is put back on, that the snap from that pad will hold it in place. So you just want to line that up, get these adjusted where they need to go, kind of set that out of your way. You can kind of set this stuff out of your way for the moment, just gently peel it back. Um, if any, any of y'all have worked with Cena headset stuff before, you know the wires are real small and delicate, so don't be forceful. Use patience, and you'll get to where you need to go. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to reattach this rear piece, this rear pad, okay? Snaps here. Snap goes through this clip. Snaps that one in place. We're going to come back here. Same thing. Got the little snap button. Go through the oval piece here, the Cena system. Snap that in place. So there you go. That is at least how you install the initial part of the uh, Cena 10U for the Climb Cryos helmet, okay? And this piece will get a little more secure once we, you know, fold our cheek pads over. This material comes over, and uh, but super lightweight. It's not in the way, but that's how you install that backbone piece. Okay, guys. So now, one small correction. This uh, connector over here with the other speaker, this is for another uh, antenna piece that we're not utilizing today. Uh, on this side, it's labeled. It says mic. This is for your uh, Cena. Uh, microphone right here so just a correction on that from what I said earlier but now what you want to do is you got the uh, cheek pad laid out here um, you you know you kind of know where your you know you kind of know where your ear pockets at so and this kind of can take a little bit of fine tuning you may have to try the helmet on and um, reposition these little speakers or you know something in that nature but that's real simple to do so one of, I'm just going to kind of you know, initially I'm just going to kind of stick this up high. This whole area is Velcroed right here, okay? The Velcro stops right there. I'm going to kind of stick it about right in there. That's kind of about where my ear pocket is. It don't have to be perfect in there. It's just for comfort, you might want to fine tune it and see exactly where you want to put that at. Um, but it's going to fit nicely right there. Um, you know, then you can take your microphone piece We'll hook it up in a minute. We can lay that in here, hook up the mic. But uh, first thing you want to do is get this uh, speaker, get it So positioned. we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. we got our little speaker here. We're going to kind of put it in about the same location, kind of up top, just right on the edge of where the Velcro ends. Hopefully you can see that. So now that we got our speakers done, um, we can actually take this side and put our cheek pad now back you'll remember in. on this side here I mentioned that there was a, the connection on the left side was for the antenna. Well here is the antenna, this is your FM uh, piece of your antenna and uh, it comes with the kit, just an extra little wire, it's got a little receiver on the end. Um, this thing, all it does is actually routes underneath the helmet liner. So I'm basically just going to run it underneath this piece, underneath here, and just over to back behind and underneath the cheek pad on this side. So you're just going to loop it across the top of the helmet, underneath the liner, over to the opposite side of the cheek pad and just tuck it in behind there, okay? So that's how you're going to do the, uh, the uh, FM, an FM antenna piece. You just run it underneath your helmet liner to the other side, to the other cheek pad. Okay, so let's put our uh, cheek pad back on this side. Uh, I didn't completely remove it. I just kind of undid the Velcro and folded it out. So we definitely want to take this strap. Let's kind of just feed it back through here. Get that strap started. Okay, so we got that. Now just position the, the cheek pad back in place.
pretty simple to get that back in place and uh, may take just a couple of adjustments to get it you know exactly dialed back in but it's that easy so we've got this side um, cheek pad back installed I can feel my speaker right here it's actually feels like it's in a pretty good spot but like I said you can fine-tune it you may have to move it side to side up or down just for whatever your comfort is but it feels pretty good I'll have to test fit the helmet later and see how it does okay so for uh, the uh, left hand side uh, where we're going to do our microphone setup uh, just make sure you uh, just you know unpackage this from the just in a little ziploc bag but this is your microphone pretty simple little connection like I said before the Cena uh, wiring systems are are delicate you just need to be patient have your you know take your time but uh, this will be positioned um, we'll maybe reroute this cable just a little bit but the uh, according to instructions um, the microphone can mount you know anywhere in this area uh, but most guys that do um, type of moto moto vlogs and stuff they they kind of fine-tune their microphone setup, but I think I'm going to go by the instructions because I'm still working on how to fine-tune that myself. So I'm probably just going to stick this uh, microphone kind of somewhere in that uh, area. So let's get these cables uh, tidied up so I can get ready to install that. One thing you want to do is uh, you have your um, controls here, volume controls and some other controls here for the uh, Cena system. Uh, what I recommend doing is taking the cheek pad, pulling this first uh, piece out, and there's a notch here. You just want to kind of lay this cable um, in that notch. And uh, once you do that, we're just going to install this back in. Just like that. Now that will be a nice clean installation. Of course, we'll have to redo the uh, pull the slack of the cable in. But that's the location of that cable. You just need to uh, reposition the slack. And uh, that's how you do that. Okay, so what I've done is I just kind of... Uh, right here on the rear part of the cheek pad, I just kind of peeled this material back. And I kind of took my slack wires and just put them back here. And then that way when I put the cheek pad in, that stuff is uh, covered and protected. But that's just where my extra wires went. So now what I can do is I'm going to mount, this has already got a little piece of Velcro on it. The uh, kit came with a little baggie, got a little Velcro piece in it. So uh, next we're going to mount the microphone right in here and then we'll install our cheek pad and then okay. we'll be done. So right here we're going to install the little piece of velcro. It's going to stick that right there. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of lay that microphone about in the center of it. Now we can at this point we can go ahead and uh, lay the cheek pad over. We need to run this through. We can kind of lay the cheek pad over. Uh, if you want to, you can just temporarily kind of stick it there for now because you might need to fine tune it. But now what we want to do is uh, we will actually uh, put a little, you know, clean this area with a little piece of uh, cloth and alcohol. And then we'll mount this right here. Okay, so I have cleaned this area. And uh, now we're just going to uh, peel the adhesive back off. The kit comes with an extra little uh, piece of this adhesive material. So we're just going to stick that right there. Kind of press around on the edges just to get it to seat. That's a pretty nice clean installation. Um, you can see we've got the Cena headset installed. Really can't see anything. You know, you see this piece back here. And uh, as mentioned, that's your little charge port. Um, there's a charge cable that comes with the kit. And you pretty much, you got uh, indicator lights there. Uh, red is charge and blue is uh, ready to go. So, seems a little odd, but you got to plug your helmet up and charge it. And uh, you're ready to use your uh, Climb uh, Cryos helmet with the uh, Cena 10U uh, headset system. So, let's get out there and ride. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.